Hello everyone, this is Anfa from AnfaMusic.com. Today I want to talk about something graphical. I want to show you how to make kind of this caption made of a splattered paint with some funny gradients and smoke over it using GIMP, free software. So let's start with an image. I'm doing this on a small image because I don't want to uh, you know, put too much weight on my CPU while I'm recording the video. But normally you'd want to go for a higher resolutions and scale it down instead of starting with a small image. So yeah, let's do the first thing with a transparent layer. This one is going to be the background. I'm going to make it gray already because further down the road we'll need it gray. Okay, and in black, paint the caption. Plus one. Great. First thing I'm going to do is blur it. I want to smooth it out and make it look more like a, like a paint because it should dissolve a little bit. With curves, I will change the alpha and generally make it much thicker with a soft edge. All right. Now we need a another layer. I'm going to call it warp. It has to be the same size as this one because otherwise it won't work. Now let's our brush scale it down until we have small dot sized like a drop of paint we're going to get. Let's have this one white. Let's do incremental and apply jitter with amount of 50 which is extreme. Now we can paint a little bit with it. Switch to white now switch to full opacity, now to minimal, again for white, and that's all. Now let's blur the whole thing with 5x5. Five five. Yeah, this is going to be great. And finally, do map this place. Now we're going to shape our caption with the wall texture. And you can see it nicely dissolves, breaks up the shape into something kind of droplets. Okay, but we need to soften this out and I'm going to do it by, you guessed it, blurring and once more using curves with alpha we can fatten this and make a not so sharp edge but something like this yeah here we have our paint shape now what we can do is make some gradient of it so i'm going to do two gradients both red and yellow. Okay, maybe orange. I'm going to do alpha to selection, create a new layer, let's call it up, and paint our gradient. I'm going to do with control, so the line will align with the vertical axis or stuff like that. Now let's do another down and do it opposite direction. Now let's deselect. And what I'm gonna do is blur the downward one with zoom. Make it inward. So this will create some interesting effect. What we can do more is Blur our 
black shape to make it a drop shadow like this one maybe let's move it a little bit downward with control yeah much better and now we're going to do smoke so I'm going to duplicate the black shape hide it and first thing I'm going to blur it a lot so it will completely lose its shape it's almost unreadable and that's okay so now I'm going to add another warp texture and we need it to be clouds I'm going to drop in any color come on fill it up and do map no map render clouds difference clouds now let's increase the detail and increase a little bit the X size so our image won't be stretched. Now I can desaturate this and normalize it. So we have full contrast. And now we're going to use it to displace our little one. So filters, map, displace, and we're going to select the WAP. I'm going to go for negative value for Y and positive for X. We could even increase it more. Yeah, apply. And here we have it. Very smoky. Let's invert the colors so we can have white smoke and add layer mask. It's going to be white and I need a gradient that will be black and white. Do we have such a gradient right here? Or should I do it on my own? Okay. Like this. Now let's move this up. No, not the mask, the image itself. And what? Enable this, enable this, enable this. Here we have it. Now in the full resolution. Thanks for watching. See you next time.